Have you ever been busy in Excel and you find yourself having multiple sheets open and you actually wanted to take the formatting that you've applied to one sheet and sort of copy and paste that over to others, you know, to speed up the process of uh, your work? Well, hopefully in today's video, um, I'll be able to help you with that through the use of macros, okay? So macros is a feature that Excel has where we can actually record our formatting that we've done on one sheet and take that, save it, and actually apply it to another worksheet. Well, let's have a look at how it works. Okay, so I'm just in a blank Excel spreadsheet and I'm gonna pop in the words testing macros and now the first thing I need to check is that up over here on my ribbon I've got the developer tab now remember if you don't have that you can go to file options we go to customize ribbon and just make sure that's ticked and then you'll see your developer tab so inside your developer tab there's a section here under code and there you've got your macros so because I want to apply or I want to create a macro and then apply it to this I'm going to click somewhere else and I'm going to click on record macro so now it's going to ask me for a macro name and I'm going to say my new macro and I'm going to let's say um, let's make it control plus T okay they'll tell you uh, you know what you must actually uh, pop in there a description finally working on macros that's my description and there I've got all those details in place now I'm going to click OK and you'll see when I do that it changes from recording to stop recording because now it's actually taking note of everything I'm doing so I'm going to go to the home tab and I'm just going to change anything and everything that's in that cell to bold italic I'm going to change the size to 18 I'm going to change this to Arial black okay then I'm going to go to developer and once I am done doing what I need to I'm going to click stop recording now if I want to see if I've created uh, that correctly, I can click on macros over here. I can then see a number of macros I created and here's one, my new macro. And I can click on options. That'll show me the name of my macro, the shortcut key and the description. Now, usually what they will ask you to do is to create a macro with a shortcut key and you must apply that macro using the shortcut key. So I'm just going to cancel that going to click on that cell over there and then I'm going to use my shortcut key and there you can see just by using the shortcut key which was control and T it has applied my macro to whatever is in that particular cell okay and this is how I can use my macros within Excel